Hello, viewers, and welcome to the latest huddle. We have a, a, a regular guest, a familiar face, Pontus Lindwall, CEO of Betson. Hi, Pontus. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm good, thanks. Uh, probably not as good as you on Q3 day. Uh, another good set of results for you guys. Yeah, it was a very strong quarter. We're very happy about it. And uh, it's the seventh quarter in the row that we performed really well. So I'm happy and I think the whole group of Batson is, is very happy about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the most important question I could start with is to ask you about the, the outfit you wore on the picture in the Q3 report. Can you talk us through that one? Yeah, I, I, I have uh, started to have to take pictures from where I'm out in the activity of the company. But last quarter, the second quarter, I didn't do that. I, I got criticized for that. So I decided now to take a new picture, which is more connected to the, to the business that we do. In this case, the costume of the Italian uh, TV commercial. So, so that was quite funny, actually. Yeah, no, it definitely stood out. Uh, obviously, the, the star for Star Casino, it, it made a lot of sense. Um, you mentioned the the seventh consecutive uh, quarter of of, of uh, growth in in revenue and earnings. You know, uh, EBITDA was up, gross profit up, net income up, organic revenue up. Um, but if you were to maybe single out one KPI that was the most important, or that you're perhaps the most impressed with, uh, which one would that be? I would say the I I would say the broad based. Uh, revenue increase th th that we have uh, across many different markets that that's what really takes the company forward and that is what really makes it possible for us to grow the earnings as much and keep a high uh, margin it, it shows the scalability in our business model mm -hmm. well, i'll ask you about kind of uh, new markets later on but in terms of existing markets uh, still strength in LATAM? Would that still be kind of the the stand, the USP for, for Betson? I would say LATAM is, of course, uh, a region where we put a lot of efforts and, and uh, we did a good quarter in LATAM. And uh, especially we have a very strong belief in the market going forward long term. But we also did well in, in SECA and, and Western Europe. So, so three main regions where we performed really well. Mm -hmm. And in, in Western Europe, is there, is there one market in particular that you would say, yeah, this one exceeded our expectations this quarter? I have to mention uh, Italy again, mm -hmm. because uh, the team is doing fantastically well there and, uh, and, and, and we are doing well as a company. Uh, and also this was the first quarter where we could welcome our friends at Bet First in, in, in Belgium. And uh, this is a part of our Western European operations that we really look forward to see performing going forward as well. Mm -hmm. um, seeing as you've mentioned Bet First, um, uh, you know, Belgium, France, and Denmark were sort of singled out in, in your quotes in the Q3 re uh, report. Out of those markets, I mean, they, they're all important, but which one of those do you think is perhaps the most? Uh, not necessarily important, but potentially most lucrative for Betson. They are very different. Uh, to start off with Belgium, uh, it's, it's it's a business which is up and running and which is quite substantial. So that's that one obviously being very important for us. And uh, we got the li A plus license uh, recently, so we will see increased uh, opportunity there uh, in the beginning of next year. And then France, we got our license in. in recently for the French market, but there we start differently than from, uh, from Belgium. We start from scratch mm -hmm. in France, building up our Betson brand. So, so that is uh, something we look forward to. But as I said in the, uh, in the presentation earlier, we start from zero and uh, we can only go one way from there. So, mm -hmm. so that would be good, but it, it will have less impact on the figures in, in, in the near term. Of, of course. Sure. When a, when a company like Betson starts from zero in a new market, does your do you still think the the, the brand recognition internationally uh, and perhaps investment can help, or is it truly a, a level playing field? You're, you're brand new. You feel French players might might not be as familiar. And uh, I, I think if you go out on the streets of France today and ask if they know Betson, there will be very little brand recognition. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, some that has looked at international soccer but uh, we keep on building the brand in different markets and it starts 
to spill over already now. So we will have help from other markets also in, in, in France over time. Sure. Um, there's been a positive early reaction uh, in the stock market as well in terms of share price this morning. Um, how do you respond to you know an uptick in, in share price? Yeah, not not much for us to do. Uh, of course, we're happy to see that coming. And uh, I think in times like this, when stock market is a little bit shaky, some companies uh, show less profitability due to higher interest rate costs and 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 and, and other things. Then we still remain strong. Uh, we have a very strong balance sheet, and we we our revenues are not impacted actually by mm -hmm. the less favorable uh, financial climate. So so I, I think we're in a good position. And in that regard, it's kind of, you know, natural that some people shift over to bigger shareholdings in Batson. Mm -hmm. um, objectively speaking, as I've already said, um, a, you know, a very impressive set of results. But but as, as you'll know from, from, from my interviews in the past, I, I'm always looking for, for an area I can perhaps question. And, and and your reaction maybe maybe says that you're you're familiar with that um, sports book uh, margin uh, are slightly down and uh, it was mentioned about kind of um, results and and favourites uh, and and uh, goal heavy games in European uh, soccer football, um, but the, the sports book gro revenue growth was only two percent is is compared to twenty seven percent casino is that perhaps an area of concern? It's definitely not an area of concern and uh, it's something that we don't worry at all about. The underlying activity is very strong. Uh, the product is stronger now than it has ever been before. So, you know, it swings back and forth a bit in, in the sports betting. And in the last quarter, the case is that the players has won a little bit more than they usually do. We have seen more goals in the games, which makes the sport fun to watch. So it's 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 not bad. And we believe that it's important that that we have those wings that people feel that they can win on the sports betting and uh, we'll see what the fourth quarter will look like when it ends mm -hmm, absolutely uh, on, on behalf of the sports betters that, that won that money off you i apologize no only kidding that wasn't <laughs> I, I wasn't that lucky um uh, we mentioned Q4. We'll, we'll, I'll ask you about Q4 in a second. But obviously, uh, just looking ahead, we've got a major football tournament next next year with the, with the Euros. Uh, I'm sure that's something in terms of sports sports betting. That's something Betson is is again very much looking forward to. Yes, and uh, it's always those big championships. Uh, it, it, it's it's a very good opportunity to bring in new customers, and then it's of course always exciting. Uh, Following those tournaments, we, we used to it, it to lose some money in the beginning, and then at the end, it it always happens strange things that you don't expect. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be nice to see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, is Betson seeing the acquisition from the World Cup, for example? Uh, a lot of those players have gone into casino betting. Have you seen the kind that kind of cross sell? Uh, yes, we we see cro and we try to promote uh, cross selling, and it's it, it's a part of the business. You tend to get people in during big sports tournaments, and then they tend to stay on playing. And after some time, maybe you cross sell, and and they try out the casino. So that's that's a part of the business uh, to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned Q4. Um, final area that we, we can talk about uh, in terms of highlights to, to look out for on Q4. What, what's Betson looking for? No, nothing special, really. Q4 is normally quite a busy quarter, and uh, we hope that uh, it will be so this year again. There's uh, quite a packed sports calendar. Uh, and as we mentioned in the report, we have started with a little bit weaker sportsbook margin again. Players are lucky, they are doing well, and uh, we'll see how it turns out for the rest of the quarter. Mm -hmm. Well, Pontus, thank you very much as always for your time, and uh, congratulations again on a, another impressive set of results. Thanks a lot. See you. Bye. <laughs>